and welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, Psalm 76. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. His tent is in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shields and the swords, the weapons of war. How wonderful it would be if God's name were great in our churches. Instead of being stepped on and made a liar, defrauded, any time that you speak against God's Ten Commandments, His character, you make Him a liar. You defraud Him of that which is His righteousness. You are resplendent with light, more majestic than mountains, rich with game. Valiant men lie plundered. They sleep their last sleep doesn't matter how strong we think we are, how important we are. God is above all of that. He can humble us in a minute. He can make us sleep the last sleep. Not one of the warriors can lift his hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot lie still. Many people want to do this and want to do that, make plans for this and think they're so important. And when they see it all crumble down around them, they realize that we can make plans, but unless we give those plans to God and pray, Thy will be done, unless we do it in justice and righteousness, those plans may seem to succeed for a little bit, but they'll all come tumbling down. You alone are to be feared. Who can stand before you when you are angry? <laughs> Nobody. From heaven you pronounce judgment, and the land feared and was quiet. When you, O oh God, rose up to judge, to save all the afflicted of the land. Surely your wrath against men brings you praise, and the survivors of your wrath are restrained. Yes, once we've been humbled by the Lord, you begin to realize that there is no power outside of God that can compete with God. We're not here to compete with Him. We need to submit to Him. He loves us so much. He only has what's best for us at heart. All we have to do is humble ourselves and accept what His plan is for us. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all the neighboring lands bring gifts to the one to be feared. He breaks the spirit of rulers. He is feared by the kings of the earth. Oh, if that were the case today, there would be no wars and no uprisings and no jihad and no mass shootings, no pain, no sorrow if the rulers of the world feared the Lord. If they would put His Ten Commandments into their heart and live it and produce laws in their lands that would replicate the Ten Commandments. We would be at peace. I pray today that you will work in your heart at producing love, joy, peace, justice to all around you. Thank you for being with me and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.